What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked VGC double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Life Orb Palkia team that also features weakness policy metagross. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. Come on, subscribe to the channel. I know you guys want to. It only takes like two seconds of you guys' time. All you gotta do is, you know, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. So I thank everybody who supports me and is a subscriber to this channel. But this team right here was actually sent in by a fan, but I realized it was actually made by my main man, Cloverbells. You guys do not know who Cloverbells is. He's another YouTuber who does Pokemon content. So huge shout out to him for making this team. I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. But starting off with the team preview in that top left corner, we have the one and only Palkia. Palkia is just a fun Pokemon to use all around. And I absolutely love using them in this format. We got Telepathy Ability, Life Orb as our item, and then we got Spatial Run, Hydra Pump, both for Stab, and then we got Earth Power and Protect for his final two moves. Tornadus is right next to him, and Tornadus works well on any single team, especially this one right here. It is a Tailwind Setter with Prankster Ability and Focus Sash, so it can't get one tap. Move set is Tailwind, Air Slash for Stab, Brutal Swing to actually proc Metagross's weakness policy and protect for our fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Entei. I should say Inner Focus Entei because, you know, Inner Focus works so well in this format considering Intimidate is huge, alongside with Fake Out being a huge move as well. This thing has Assault Vest so it can soak up some special attacking shots, Sacred Fire for Stab, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, Bulldoze to actually proc Metagross's weakness policy and a little bit of Speed Control on top of that, and then Snarl to drop opposing Pokemon's special attack. Next to him is going to be Rillaboom, and Rillaboom is still dominant in this game. This thing has Grassy Surge, Miracle Seed, so his grass moves can hit harder. We have Grassy Glide, which is like his best move. Fake Out for Flinches, Drum Beating for huge stab damage, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left is going to be a heavy hitter for this team, and that is going to be Metagross. Once you get this Pokemon's weakness policy proc, you can pretty much start one tapping Pokemon left and right. We got Clear Body, so Intimidate will not affect us, or Stat Changes won't affect us. Weakness policy as our item, as you guys already know, and then Iron Head, Stomp and Tantrum, Rock Slide, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for a Metagross. Final Pokemon in the squad in that bottom right corner is going to be Porygon 2 with a Download and Evo Light, kind of just there to kind of protect our team and set Trick Room or Counter Trick Room if needed. We got Shadow Ball, Try Attack for Stab, Recover to get some more HP, and Trick Room for our fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and look to get some wins with this Life Orb Palkia and Weakness Policy Metagross team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into battle number one for today's video, and we have our work cut out for ourselves. This guy has an amazing Groudon team that also features Chlorophyll Venusaur, Charizard, Umbreon, Incineroar, and Regilecki. How should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I kind of want to go into Metagross. Metagross could be really good because we could set up Tailwind and drop a rock and change up weather just like that, but Groudon really poses a huge threat on us, which I really don't like, which I really don't like, but at the same time, I kind of want to go into both of them. It could be really, really good for us. Could be really good for us. But who do I think he's going to lead? I think he's going to lead either Regilecki or just going with the Sun Squad. Definitely an option. Or he could go uh, Incineroar, so Clear Body could work really well for us. But who should I pair up with that? I'm thinking of just pairing up Tornadus. Maybe getting off Tailwind. We have our Focus Ash. We should be pretty good with that. Let's bring Palkia in the back end. And then final Pokemon, I just think Grassy Glide, Rollaboom could really work wonders here. Definitely over to Entei, I think, right? Yeah, because Groudon really just puts Entei into the works. I really do like Rillaboom here because if we can get out Rillaboom at good times later in the match, we can take out Groudon with the Grassy Glide. We can hit hard on the Regilecki. Most Regileckis will go down to a Grassy Glide to a Rillaboom. So I just think Rillaboom is a great call. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What is your favorite Restricted Mon to use in this format? There are so many cool ones. You guys got to have an answer. Let me know in the comment section down below. For me, I personally like using Palkia. I like using Dialga, but um, I think oh, Yabelt is a lot of fun to use. I think Yavelta and Xerneas might be my top two. Definitely a lot of fun to use with the, both those Pokemon. But he ends up leading the Charizard alongside with the uh, with the Groudon, which I'm kind of fine with. I think we might just Tailwind and change up weather. Because he can proc policy if he goes into a fire move. So I'm kind of with that. Kind of with just Dynamaxing, being able to outspeed, and just setting up a Tailwind. I kind of like that because we get super effective shot. We can do some big damage on this thing. Charizard probably can't kill us with a fire move after that. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Let's just see how he plays. Let's see how this guy plays. Probably sitting here like, oh, yo, we pose a nice little threat here. But he's going to Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax, which is fine. That's what he's thinking. He's thinking like, yo, I can just go into like a simple fire move. I can rip up from here. But nah, son, you know what we doing. You know what we doing. We changing up that weather. Hopefully, we can be able to eat up a fire shot after that, which I think we might be able to. I think we might be able to. 
So let's just see this guy's play. He is probably going to go into maybe a Blades. We'll see what he does. We should see what he does. Because honestly, definitely the uh, G-Max Wildfire is going to come into my Metagross slot. Which I'm fine with after we get off some big damage onto this... Uh, onto this uh, Charizard because weather's going to be taken away so that takes away solar power and uh, heat damage that's going to bring it to him so I think we should be able to soak up a shot we're at 362 HP and this thing's pretty bulky as well my boy Metagross is a bulky little mon Tailwind's going to poke because you know we prankster we about that life we always keep Tailwind on us and then our Max Rockfall is going to drop through here wonderful 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 get off some big damage on this thing probably not kill it but still get off some big damage we do kill it, yo. That is a great turn one. That is a wonderful turn one for my boy Metagross. We are sitting in the driver's seat now. I wonder what move this guy's gonna go for. So we get rid of his Dynamax and we get rid of probably his strongest Pokemon on the field, which is Charizard. I'm not really too worried about the ground because you know, like I said, I have real boom in the back. He's gonna end up going for Sword Dance and setting up, which is totally fine. I could proc policy here and just finish that thing off. Definitely an option. But let's see who he brings out. Let's see who he brings out. He swords dance up. I'm definitely gonna uh brutal swing here. I gotta proc policy. I gotta be able to do as much damage as we can. Ground on. I might go into a steel move here. He does have fake out ready to go, which he's probably gonna do. He's probably gonna fake out. And I wonder what he's gonna go for. Maybe a blades? He could go for a blades, and at this point I might just go into a uh steel spike just for the sheer fact is we can get off this uh this defense boost, which could be really good for us. So let's do this. Let's go into a brutal swing and we'll roll out from there. Because maybe he might not fake out. Maybe he'll just want to go into a Flare Blitz. But if he doesn't fake out, he's going to have a problem on his hands. He's definitely going to have a problem. There's the fake out. Saw that coming. And I wonder what Groudon's going for. He's not protecting. Steel Spike's going to come in here. Probably not pick up the KO. But more importantly, give us that defensive boost. Help us soak up some shots. There's nice little half damage about. But like I said, I really want that defense boost for the squad. Let's see what Groudon goes into. Is he my proc or policy of our own? He just goes for a straight Rock Slide. Which I'm cool with. Tornado's going to drop to that. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. He could guard or protect that ground on, which I could definitely see happening. So I might just target down an Incineroar with a Quake. We still have a weakness policy. I could just bring out Roboom. Roboom does pose a huge threat, but I think Palkia is our play here. Because Incineroar is out on the field, that can definitely be a little problem. Or I could just fake out Pokemon. What is my play? If we're going to go into Palkia. I think Palkia is the play here. We save that lovely little uh, Roboom for when we get rid of Incineroar. Or maybe we'll need him later when Incineroar's on a little health and we need a first turn priority move. So I'll bring out Palkia here. I could just go straight into a Geyser. Uh, what do I want to do? Special Defense Boost. Could go into the Steel Spike. Quake's looking pretty good. And I'm thinking we can outspeed and just Hydro Pump the Groudon. So I think we just Quake over onto the Incineroar. And then at the same time, we just go for a straight Hydro Pump into the Groudon and take that thing out. I'm with this play. I'm with it all day. We still have a turn left in Tailwind. He might go into a Protect with the Groudon. If he does, it's okay. We're still going to get our Max Quake over onto the Incineroar slot. And we know Incineroar is not running Protect because no Incineroar runs Protect. And yo, I swear, if this Incineroar uses Protect now, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. This video is going to be over. We're going to end it here if this Incineroar uses Protect. So honestly, I don't even... i never seen an Incineroar in Rank Double Battles use Protect. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. But my Metal Face Metagross is going to get over here or my gold face metagross is going to do some work hydro pump connect so this should say bye bye to the crowd on and battle number one is really looking good for us Groudon, on get on out my game palky is better than you palky just rips up on that thing thank god we landed that hydro pump i would have been upset if we didn't but then max quake is going to fly out here and i think he might just drop a flare but or he could parting shot i really don't know i really don't, don't know quake's gonna fly through here do a lot of damage bring that thing down to the red and we are thriving here. i think palky outspeeds incineroar regardless of its uh of the tailwind but this thing might have a berry, so we'll see. It's not rocking a berry. She's going to drop a Darkest Slayer. Super effective shot on us. We now have Weakness Policy proc. We now have Weakness Policy proc. So Metagross is in full effect, but we are at a Dynamax turn. So let's see who he goes into. And so he's going to show his fourth and final Mon. And I'm kind of hoping it is the uh, it is the Regilecki. Just so my real boom can come out here later and just dump on it with the Grassy Glide. But we are thriving here. It's going to be Venusaur. No Sun. Oh, that's It's pretty much GG's. It's pretty much GG's. It is pretty much GG. Venusaur without the sun is right in the dumpster. Right in the dumpster, Venusaur without that sun. I could go into a Simon Tantrum. I just think Rock Slide is going to be the play with Metagross. And then from here, we could just drop a nice big old Spatial Rent with the Venusaur. Let's do it. Let's get ripping. Battle was canceled. There it is. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's hop into our second look to go back to back.
Looking to go back to back here, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team that also features Malwak, Tapu Lele, Regilecki, Whimsicott for Tailwind, the Ice Rider Calyrex, and that Tornadus. It's pretty cool because it's not just like a straight meta Ice Rider Calyrex. So I'm kind of with it. I think we're going to have fun battling up in the, with this guy. But I got to go in with Tornadus. If he goes Tailwind, I got to match Tailwind. Uh, who else should I go into with? I could go in straight with uh, Entei. I might go straight into Entei here. But you know what? I think just going into Metagross is just a great call here. But bringing Entei and Palkia in the back end here instead of Rillaboom. I really don't think we need Rillaboom, but I think just the Metagross combo lead is going to work so well here yet again. Yet again. The first battle, it worked out pretty well, but we did not proc his policy instantly because he had ins or uh, he had uh, Charizard right out on the field first. So I was just like, mm, let's not proc policy. We need speed. We got to get off some big damage. But yo, it worked out perfectly because we one tapped that Charizard with that max rock ball. That was awesome. Let's see if we can get started off on a strong note in this battle as well. He goes Wimscott and Regilecki, so speed control is definitely in his favor. Um, I might drop a rock just to get some buffets uh, poking around, but I think we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. Uh, what should I do? I mean, if he goes Tailwind, I think we're fine with this. We do have our Sash all day. So I might not even pop a Tailwind here. I might just proc Policy. Or I could... Yeah, I might just proc Policy. And then in this case, just go into a Special Defense Boost and hit the Regilecki with a Quake. Could be the option. Do you have any Pokemon that can dodge the Quake? He does have Thunderous, but I do not see him hard swapping into Thunderous. I really don't see that happening. So I just think maybe going straight into a Brutal Swing here and getting after it. Or no, Tailwind's definitely going to be reply. Actually, no, it's not. We're going to go into a Brutal Swing. We have Prank Surf. Let them set up Tailwind first and foremost, and we should be thriving. So let's go here. Let's go into this. Uh, should we go into a Rockfall? Nah, I'm just going to go into Quake. I'll take the Special Defense Boost considering he has two Special Attackers on the field. I like this turn all day. And the reason I'm not going for Tailwind is he would outspeed me if he Tailwind, so I'd rather get Tailwind a, a turn extra. So when their Tailwind ends, we can have one Tailwind turn left. So that's my thought process behind this. I do not want to send a Tailwind right away because he's going to outspeed us regardless, so might as well wait and get an extra turn when theirs ends. So let's see what he goes into. He's just going to go for a switcheroo. Okay, that's pretty cool. He's going to switch his items with me, and now we have a Jack button. That's a little rough. He's going to explode. Who's exploding here? That's honestly a great play. That is honestly a great play. That is one of the coolest plays I've seen. That is one of the coolest plays I've seen. We have a Focus Ash, but they eject button me out of here. They eject button me out. That's pretty cool, buddy. Killed two of his Pokemon. He gets crit on Tornadus. Our eject button's going to have to swap us out. We have Focus Ash so we don't die. That was honestly pretty cool. And eject button's going to have to switch us out. That's a little whack. He just wasted my Dynamax turn, but hey, it is what it is. Let's get out Palkia here, and let's roll out. He did not set up a Tailwind. He just switched a rune, which he should have just went into, like, an E-Web. Right? If he, Just imagine if he would have went into an E-Web. He E-Webs that turn. We switch out. He does some big damage onto my Tornadus, and he has both of his Pokemon still. Kind of a dumb play. It was a cool, like, concept, but dumb play. Telepathic's going to come out here. Awesome. We dodged that. Cool, cool, cool. And let's see who his final two Pokemon are. Definitely a cool concept. Just did not execute it right. Should not have run explosion on that Regilecki. Definitely E Web was the play there. But he's gonna end up going into him. He's probably gonna Dynamax that. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. So he brings out him and he's gonna bring out you as well. Um, how should I hit up on these mons? How should I hit up on these mons? As one's gonna come out here, so no berries. Luckily, we have no berries here. But I could just go into a Tailwind, which I think is gonna be play. Take speed and then I could just go into a Spatial Run. Because we do have that Entei in the back end, alongside with uh, with Metagross still, which Metagross can hit pretty hard onto that uh, Calyrex. So I think just targeting down this uh, Thunderous is definitely a play. So we'll go Tailwind, we'll go into the Spatial Ren. But dude, I really did think this dude was going to be rocking out with his team. I really did think, I was like, yo, this dude just hit us with a mean eject button. He goes into an E-Web, he's sitting in a beautiful spot. But he does not end up Dynamaxing, he might go for a Trick Room, which could be a good play for him. Spatial Ren's going to poke, and we one-tap that thing with a critical hit, baby. With a critical hit. If you guys didn't know, Spatial Ren does have a higher chance of critting, so that's why it crits. It wasn't just like straight luck from jeans. I think it ends up going for a straight Glacial Lance. That's why he didn't Dynamax. He wants to go for a double hitting move, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. Tornas goes down. Can Palki eat that? Palki does soak up. Palki does soak up, and now we're sitting in a lovely spot here. This battle's pretty much over. We have been running these guys. We have been running these guys. And I am in Master Ball tier now, so these are Master Ball tier battles. These are Master Tier battles. We're not sitting too high. We're about. I think I'm like 3,000, 3,200 something. That was the last time I checked. 
3,200 something, which isn't too bad considering I haven't been absolutely grinding the master tier. But this guy had a cool concept and I really wish he would have dumped on me because it would have been an awesome video. It would have been an awesome battle for this video. But we have speed all day. I'm just going to go into space run. He might end up dynamaxing here as like a last ditch effort, which I can definitely see happening. And he could have weakness policy, which could proc with this iron head, but we should be able to do a decent amount of damage with this. So I definitely see this dude Dynamax and not going for Glacial Lance because Metagross can pretty much soak up some Glacial Lances. What it all day. But he is plus one now. He is plus one now. But he still does Dynamax. So he goes for a Dynamax. It's down to a 3v1 situation. And it's not over yet because everyone knows that this boy, Ice Rider Kyler, can do some work. We know that this boy can do some work. But we got Iron Head's going to be flying out here. We still have a Sacred Fire Entei in the back, which we know outspeeds this thing. We're sitting in a good position. But it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. We're gonna start off here, start off here, and maybe get a crit with this spatial run. Let's see, give me a crit there. Give me a crit. Life orb's gonna take away some damage, and no crit. Iron Head's gonna poke. Built doing some big damage, and this battle's pretty much over. It's pretty much over. There's a weakness policy. He's gonna take out whoever he wants here, which I think it's gonna be a Palkia. Actually, it's probably gonna be Metagross with a Quake. Yep, Metagross comes out with a Quake, and we're gonna have to drop in our end there because you know Metagross gone. Metagross, 100% gone. That thing's weakest policy proc. It also has... It's actually plus three. Gonna be plus four now. Because it killed my Tornadus, so the As one came in here. And he has a special defense boost now. So this thing is just boosted up. This thing is just boosted up. Chilling Nade boosting him yet again. This thing is ridiculously strong. But it's over with. It is over with. We have speed. We are thriving here. We just can't miss her attacks. Because that'd be, that'd be ridiculous. We start missing attacks. Shiny Entei comes out here. And I love Shiny Entei. Cause he's not like too he doesn't look too different he just looks like he just has like a different tint with a few different colors on him which is it's just perfect it just brings everything out for him just brings everything out for him but circuit fire is gonna poke we're gonna drop a spatial rent and this should be ggs this should be a nice lovely 2-0 oh. nice lovely 2-0 oh. sacred fire comes through and it just finishes off him off just like that but there it is 2-0 oh to get the video started let's hop into a third and try to grab ourselves that perfect record can we grab ourselves a perfect record I think we're going to be able to do it. This guy is rocking out with a team that has no restricted mods. He's in Master Ball tier with this one, so it's pretty cool. He probably has some good team synergy with this one, but hopefully we can dump on him and get rocking out in this third and final battle. But he has Urshifu, Heatran, Regilecki, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Alola Nine. I kind of wanted to go into the Metagross combo because it could work so well here, but we showed off in the first two battles. So I'm just going to leave Palkia, maybe Dynamax him right off the bat. Not too sure, not too sure. I guess we'll see depending on his lead. I think we go Tornadus, we take speed, and then we bring Rillaboom and Entei? Or do we just bring Metagross and Entei? Do we really need Rillaboom here? Rillaboom gets ripped up by a few Pokemon, but it also can do a lot of work. It can also do a lot of work here. So who do I want to go into? I kind of want Entei. Entei could be really good. Could be really good. Especially for countering a Pokemon like Rillaboom. We could just go Metagross. I do like Metagross here as well. I'm gonna bring Metagross and then I think mm, Entei? Or do we just not bring Metagross? Have some fun with this one. Because we showed off Metagross in the first two battles. So let's bring in Entei and Rillaboom and just go in with our top four for our team here. But I think he's definitely gonna lead the Reg Lecky and maybe alongside with the Lola Ninetales or that Cinderace. Or that Cinderace. We all know that Liberia Cinderace is a scary mod. It's definitely a scary mod, so we gotta watch out for that at all times. But depending on his lead, I might just Dynamax Palkia and try to get off uh get at it right on the rip. Gonna lead Regilecki, yeah, and an item. So we just said that. Pretty obvious uh lead, but I'm cool with it. I'm definitely cool with it. He has the ice and he has electric. And do I just set up a tailwind? I could just set up a tailwind, take speed. But the buffets is going to take away our sash, our uh focus ash, which is pretty tough. Which is pretty tough. Um I just go into an earth power. I might dynamax and go for this uh, special defense boost. Which I am gonna do. I'm gonna take this thing out with a quake, and then at the same time, I am just gonna tailwind. Yeah, get some speed for us. Because they're definitely going to take speed control with the E-Web. So we need some type of speed control to counteract on theirs. But he's got a Dynamax right off the rip. And I wonder who he's Dynamaxing. Is it going to be Regilecki? It's got to be Regilecki, right? He's got to be setting up a Roar Bell with that, uh... With that Alola Ninetales, right? And I probably should have just went into a water move up against the Alola Ninetales. Just so it couldn't shoot off in a Roar Bell. That probably should have been our play. Because if we Tailwind, we outspeed it. That definitely should have been our play. Definitely should have been our play. Just go into a rain. Take away the weather. Waste his war belt turn. And then start going into quakes. But Regilecki in Dynamax form is definitely scary. Hits really hard. This thing could be life orb. It could be life orb. But I'm guessing it's magnet. I'm guessing it's a magnet Pokemon. 
Well, this is time that I wish we had a ground Pokemon. It's when we're going up against teams that died Max Regilecki. Gonna end up dropping a Tailwind. Lovely. Give me that speed. Give it to me all day. And I wish we would have dropped the water move, man. Quick's gonna fly through here. I do not think it's gonna KO. It's not stab. But it's still gonna do a decent amount of damage onto a Regilecki. It does KO. Yo, let's go. Let's go, baby. All day. All day, baby. Get rid of Dynamax Pokemon. Yo, that's the second time in today's video that we just dumped on a Dynamax Pokemon in turn one. That's like the greatest feeling ever when you just get rid of their Dynamax Pokemon in one turn. Because you, it's just like a nice sign of relief. Like, dude, I pretty much have this match in the bag. He goes straight for a Blizzard. Brings our Tornadus down to one. He is going to die to the Buffets. It's totally fine. We got Tailwind set up and we got rid of his Dynamax Pokemon. So I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. So we ended up not going into the Roar Bell. So good thing we did not go into the Rain Move. Good thing we did not go into the Rain Move. I was just sitting there complaining like, yo, we should have went into the Rain Move. But yo, we thriving. We thriving. I could go Entei here. I do think Entei is probably the call. Right? Or do I bring Rillaboom? Now I'm going to go Entei. Got to keep that Rillaboom in the back. Rillaboom's just too good. He's just too good. We're going to throw out Entei here. We can definitely go for a Sacred Fire over on the Ninetales. But the Ninetales could be Sashed. Ninetales is definitely a Pokemon that likes to be sashed. And he is going to bring out Heatran, which I'm just going to Quake on again. Actually, I'm just going to Geyser. Why wouldn't I Geyser? I do like that special defense boost, but we already have one. And Geyser is stab. It should do more damage. And Sacred Fire should just be able to poke through here and pretty much finish up this battle. Like, we had some easy battles today. We're thriving strong. We're thriving strong. But it was weird to see this guy not using a Restricted Mon. But it's pretty cool, though, that he's using a team like this. So he's in a tough situation. He's sitting here. He's like, yo, it's pretty much over. I think he's contemplating uh, quitting the game or running it. But we'll see. We'll see. Because we outspeed. We have Tailwind. Sacred Fire is going to do big damage. He's going to witch all the nine tails. That's fine. Guy's just still going to uh, go across here and do some work. He's going to end up bringing out Urshifu. Lovely little Urshifu. Sacred Fire pokes. Can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? Give me a burn. Give me a burn on that thing. Yes, sir. Yo, game is on my side, yo. The game is on my side today. Love when that's happening. Love when that's happening. Guy's just going to fly through here. Heatran, get on out my game, yo. No way you're surviving that. Get him on out of here. Big old Max Geyser from Palkia. It's stab. It's super effective. We have Life Orb, and now we have Weather Control. Now we have Weather Control. But the only problem with that is my Sacred Fire is not going to do as much, but we are thriving. We are totally thriving here. We have Robin, one of the best back-end Pokemon with a good old first-turn priority Grass God move. That hits really hard, so... We're thriving. This is going to be a perfect record for you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you guys did enjoy all the battles in today's video as well. But he's going to have to go into Nine Tails, and I think I might still just take a fire onto it. Or could Bulldoze. Bulldoze wouldn't be bad. But I just think Sacred Fire is a little bit better. I know it's raining, but it's just tough news. It's tough news. Nine Tails going to poke, and I might just go into my Dragon. Oh, he just changed up weather. That, that actually benefits us. That benefits us. Loving it. I think we just go into a worm one. Stab, take out Urshfu, and you know, just take a fire. This guy's probably gonna cancel. Cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. You know it's over. This guy knows it's over. He has no speed unless he double protects and wastes out my last tailwind turn. It's just over with. It's just over with. Actually, we should have one more after us. Well, it's gonna be a three-turn battle, right? It's looking like it's gonna be a three-turn battle, because Wormwind should definitely be able to take out Urshfu. It's stab. And I really want to use it for the attack drop. And Sacred Fire should be able to bring this thing down to at least Sash if it has it. Nope. No Sash on this thing. No Sash on the Ninetales. Jeez, man. I am really curious about what sets this guy's running. Because his Regilecki didn't have Focus Sash or Ninetales. But there it is. One Wing pokes through. Takes out the Urshfu. And your boy grabs you guys a perfect record. This Palkia team is no joke. I absolutely loved it today. The Palkia Metagross really carried us, doing some big damage. One in Dynamax form, and then the other Pokemon, such as Tornadus, Villaboom, and Entei, really just came in clutch for Tailwind Speed Control and coming in, picking up some big KOs when needed. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.